Hello everyone, this is Leswin from Aditya Business School, Coimbatore. In this video documentary, I am going to talk about a successful entrepreneur, Mr. S. Rajendran, co-founder of V Fishnets. He is from Rajaka Mangalam Turai, one of the coastal villages in Kanyakumari. After several years of working as a fisherman in Saudi Arabia, he came to India. From being in his native, he decided to start up a business in India which he already knows about. Before that, he thinks to open a bakery but this idea of bakery shop is not a connection of fishing so they drop that idea of a bakery shop. Then he comes up with the idea of fishing nets which is the main thing to harvest a fish and thus we fish nets was born. To start up a business, he doesn't have enough money to invest a capital amount. So he went to the bank for a loan as he, as he want a loan from a bank. He should have enough documents for, sorry, to get the lump sum amount from them. So he decided to buy land and construct a building on that land by pledging in bank with his own and his wife's savings and jewels. After, get, after getting enough, mo enough money from the loan, he bought two Indian machines for manufacturing the fishing nets. From the starting of the business, he decided to supply only the best quality of nets according to whether it's for sea, lake or rivers. As he has experienced in fishing, his knowledge about fishing nets has increased his ability to give fine and good quality fishing nets. This maturity of idea gives early success to them. The main point is at the early stage they only worked as a job workers. It means they get specific raw materials from another person to manufacture a fishing net from their machine. I guess you guys understood the meaning of job workers. But also they decided, they decidedly sold some fishing nets to uh, normal people for an affordable price. For uh, sorry, after some years with their jewels and loans amount, they bought two Indian machines. By having a total of four in four machines, they ran a successful business for a years. After that, some bigger companies than them imported and standard machines from uh, Japan by stopping Indian machines. By noticing that, they collapsed about whether to buy an Indian or a Japan machine. Then they hardly, hardly try to know about the difference between both the machines. Then they get a clear idea about the Japan machine. The difference about the machine is one Japan is equal to four Indian machines by production, quality and pr the price wise. There is a large difference in lab labor cost by running one Japan machine than four Indian machines. And also, some companies are afraid to buy Japan machines because they only have a vision of present conditions, not seeing the future values and conditions. By all seeing and understanding these things, they got a profitable idea to buy one Japan machine. This is the turning point for them to get his idea, sorry, this, uh, this high level success. Now, their products are very durable, much in both the demand in India and abroad. And the main of their success is getting loans and repaying all the loans completely in time. So that bank itself helps to get an extra loan for needed times. In 2021, their turnover is approximately 11 crores. Their, sell, their sales in the year 2015 was 7 crores. They got a COSITC uh, national award for outstanding entrepreneurs which were held in Jammu and Kashmir on 27th April 2016. Their main thing and the fundamental idea to the next generation of the entrepreneurs was don't act carelessly, be grounded to everyone and notice your company's growth and labor. How are they doing their job? Are they doing it full-mindedly? Are they working properly? Doing a check field works daily, morning and evening routinely. Thank you.